I'm News Channel 6 Sports Director Brendan Robertson here at the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Round two is in the books. We are done with the Champions Retreat portion of this tournament, but not without some late drama. We just had 11 players go for a playoff for 10 spots, and it came down to two players for one spot. The University of South Carolina's Ayanoa Olara made a 20 foot putt to punch her ticket into the top 30. But everyone is still chasing the world number one, Jennifer Cup Show, putting on another show today, one under 71. She she leads the way heading into the weekend. Um, I think for me, because I've played in the U.S. Open and the Marathon Classic, um, I've kind of been around that. So I think it'll be it won't be too bad. Um, I mean, it, it might be different when I get there and there's all the fans watching us, but for right now, I think it'll be okay. Now we take a look at the leaderboard. The hottest player out there today was Mexico's Maria Fassi. The University of Arkansas senior had five birdies and an eagle, and she pulled within one shot of Cup Show. And you see three players back there, two shots off the lead. But today, for many of the players, was just about getting into that top 30 to get two rounds at Augusta National. Our George Escola has a look at the tournament within the tournament. This is a 54 hole tournament, so this is both moving day and cut day as these players try to get in position to win the Augusta National Women's Amateur and get in position just to play on Saturday. First round co leader Jennifer Cupcho came out firing Thursday, looking to keep her position heading to the final round. But for the majority of the field, it may have been a different goal survive to Saturday. I think that would be probably the most important thing is making, you know, making the cut and getting to continue to play. The top 30 players are moving on to Augusta National for the final round. So they came out Thursday with two questions at hand. Do I get aggressive and move up the leaderboard or do I do what I can to make the top 30 and live to fight another day? First of all, I think it would depend on where I was standing when I started this last round, but I would probably go all out. That was the real world choice for Amanda Doherty. She came to her ninth hole right around that 30th spot. Tense time for her supporters. Fortunately, I think she's not very nervous, but I am extremely nervous. Uh, nervous from the time I get up to the time I go to bed. Former Augusta State golfer Rob Duck now coaches Amanda at Florida State. Watching Amanda, obviously, and, and I think she's got to stay aggressive. I think the worst thing she can do is is worry about the cut. She came here to win it, give herself a chance to win it. But Alexa Pano's family was keeping a close eye on that top 30. Where's your niece She's right 37th, now? 37th place. So we have some work to do on the front nine. How nervous are you? Oh, <laughs> she's gonna do it. She's gonna she's do, do it. it. How bad does Amanda want to play Saturday? In oh, that she came here, she's an Atlanta girl. Um, home state she 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 wants to be there so badly all 72 of the women will play augusta national on friday 30. we'll use that round to prepare and practice for the final round saturday the rest will just play around at champions retreat george Escala, wjbf news channel six and amanda doherty did indeed make the cut so she, she will get that extra round at Augusta National, but Colin, all these players really looking forward to what they'll get to experience tomorrow. Exactly, Brandon. And despite some making or not making the cut, there's no real loser in this situation because they all get the chance to speak and to play at the Augusta National. We were able to speak with players who were able to advance until the final round on Saturday, and those who came up short, even though everyone won't have the opportunity to hold up the Tiffany and Crested Company trophy, it's still an experience of a lifetime to walk the same greens as champions. Really nice and I'm very excited to play that course and I just want to go have fun, enjoy the course, enjoy the view, yeah, just going to do my best. I just don't want to like put too much pressure on myself and just going to go play and enjoy it. As a competitor, you would like to play it twice instead of just once, but I appreciate the opportunity to still be able to go out and practice tomorrow. No matter you make the cut or not, so I'm very excited and looking forward to that. Yeah, she said stand by. All right, and we'll be right back after sports.